Hey gang, welcome back to the garage. We're going to be working on uh, Clementine's brake lines today. We, I'm not sure if it was the last video we did with Clementine was on the brakes or not. Anyway, we're back on the brakes. I've been a little bit tied up at the farm, so there's been a bit of a delay. We're going to be making these. This is a nickel copper ferrous brake line. Awesome, awesome brake line. It is a very, very friendly to work with as far as flaring bending you name it it's good this i haven't i flared the back with the fitting on it i went ahead and slipped this fitting on so i wouldn't forget i couldn't tell you how many how many brake lines i've had to cut off and start over because i forgot to put the fitting on uh anyway it fits in here thusly okay i've got this one made up i want to show the flaring of this and we'll get to the other side and we're going to duplicate what I've made here for this little beetle so let's get in the garage and get to it and yes there's always a whole lot of that going on I believe our little Angus down there is uh, I believe she's due in October so hopefully we'll be blessed with a little calf I've got my brake line fastened down here Tighten my wing nuts and I've left this into the brake line. I don't know if this is going to show you a very good picture. It looks like there's some glare. I've left that sticking up just a little bit. Okay, when you cut that line with your tubing cutter, it's going to be rounded over on top just a little bit. Okay, we want that flat. So I went in and chucked it up here. Now I'm going to have to file that completely flat. Okay, I'm going to get to that. This is going to take that little bit of roundness off the top of that. And if you, you know, if you look at this cutting, well, you can see where that hump is created when you cut that. That cutting wheel is shaped like this, which shapes the end of that accordingly. So we'll get this cut flat. And you can tell when you're done, it, it loses all, it loses all the drag and so on and so forth. Let me get my knife here. Now a lot of, uh, a lot of your tubing cutters will have in, in the end of it, you can flip out and it'll have a little blade to where you can cut the inside of that. You can cut any of that burr off of it. Okay, get that cleaned up. Let me loosen these wing nuts. I hope I've got you in a good, yeah, it looks like a decent camera shot. Okay. All right, this is not complicated at all. Okay, what we want to do, we want to get that back in here and just tighten it enough to where it'll just kind of hang. All right, now, the top of this nickel copper ferrous brake line that's three sixteenths for anybody that would want to know um, you want to make it flush with this shoulder it's going to stick up exactly that far okay best way to do that is to eyeball it okay there we go all right I'm gonna move this back down so I don't knock it off in the floor and have to go chase it Okay. All right, that's good and tight. Let me uh, tighten my vice a little bit. I just want to walk. Okay, three sixteenths. You see on top of, I guess most all of them, any of them, would have your three sixteenths there. I'm gonna shoot just a little, little bit of oil to overcome the friction. Okay. This stuff, I can't say enough about it. It is so much better than the old school brake line. A little more expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, we've got that part done. And of course, the fitting was on here. If you make the mistake 
of not having your fitting on here you've got to cut it off and it's just a pain in the rear pain in the rear okay okay now we've got that done go back with another pass now this old tool is this was my father's um, flaring tool it's got a little wear on it it doesn't do the job it used to do but it does good seals every time I don't know that I've ever had a failure as far as making a good seal out of this old flaring tool and I really need to invest really need to invest in a new one but this one is still working I've been looking at one from Eastwood uh, $200 that I don't have extra right now when this one's still working I'm gonna get all my worth out of this old tool this I don't know how old it is it, it's incredibly old um, but it still does a good job there's our flare we're ready to put this brake line on the car and I would just duplicate this on the bench but mirror image it flip it you know but I want to go ahead and show the video of how I get all of this work done for those who have never done it before. I hope I can keep this in camera shot. I decided to do this before I head back to the car because it would be a little easier to do at the bench. I know about what bend I need here. Okay. I went in, pulled my fitting down. Okay. And I just imagined the center of that bend and I've got it roughly there. I marked it with a marker. Okay. I'm going to pull, pull this around and just look about where that's going to, where that's going to produce the bend at that I'm looking for. Push this against the stop. Okay. Pull my handle back. And there you go. And this, I need a little more, plenty more than what this is going to provide. See, I've still have it. It's still not sharp enough, but this is the cool thing about this nickel copper ferrous see I, I got close to it um, it will you can bend it with your hands okay I think I'm getting close to where I want to be there okay see not quite there yet just give it another little bend this stuff is great very friendly not exact but that's pretty close need just a little bit more on it all right let's go to the car and we'll do the rest all right gang i hope that i'm in let me see yeah that's it i'm having a hard time making sure i got you in the right camera shot and so on and so forth okay we had the bend this was the only bend we had and i know that because of the strut i've got to come back so i started working my way back here with this and i just keep fitting it up okay all right that's that's got it pretty much I'm heading in the direction I need to go okay now when I get back to here imagine that line running across and it's okay let me just take the camera down to show you it's just just for demonstration purposes okay you can see the line running back I've cleared the strut okay I need to come to about right here and imagine where this bend needs to start heading back okay that's where my marker comes in I'm gonna mark this on the back side of that line the part that's going to need to be laying in my bender okay and I'm not going to mark it yet I need to have my head down in there but um, what just for eh, there we go okay I need to imagine coming straight back here and I want to mark that right there in the center of that bend where it's going to lay into that bender it's going to make more sense here in just a second I'm going to put you back up on the tripod get it marked take it off and uh, and then we'll get it bent okay this is just my way of doing things I marked with it laying there I marked this way okay and then the center where I want the center of the bend this way and it made a crosshair now what that means is when I lay this into this bender which I've got my fitting taped on here by the way when I lay this in this bender okay I know that that straight line needs to lay in there 
this tells me at the length of my bend where I want where I want the center of the bend to be okay then we'll just roll that need to back it up just a little bit and just roll that back okay I knew I wanted a 90 and you can you can uh, that it all makes sense the more experience you have with it the more sense it makes when you do it okay now get it right back in here okay now I've got to do the same thing here it's going to be the same deal I'm going to mark that's the part that needs to lay in against the curve of the bend and then I'm going to mark the length and then we'll bend that and come straight up we can cut it off and then make up our uh, make up our other flare and we'll be uh, ready to tighten everything down all right guys I turned the wheel back to, re to where you can see about you know where we're at and what we've done where we've been and and where we're going okay now we've got the bend straight up I have marked where I need to cut it off at okay so we're going to go back inside cut that off make our last flare and we'll be ready to tighten this thing up and call it a day all right gang I'm finishing up the line, the line all the line been up super well it's um, really really uh, good stuff I highly recommend it I've never had any issues with it whatsoever let me get you off the tripod and show you the final the finished product and here it is nickel copper ferrous brake line easy to bend super flexible super friendly for the mechanic anyway guys we're gonna uh, just wrap it up here and we'll catch you on the next one I appreciate you guys watching